video taping. All right, you're going to be creating new landing pages. I've set up this new additions to celebrate with strings attached. And I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. All right. And so what you're going to be doing is uh, I've, I've put the instructions here to be really specific. And I'll put the video up, link up here eventually. Um, but for each of these groups of keywords down here, you're going to create one new page on the site. And I'll show you by what needs to be done by working with this first grouping here. So I want you to take the top key phrase and make that into a page. Ignore this one down here. Okay, just take the top. So like on this one down here, it would be taking this one. This one would be the taking this one. Okay, so what you're going to do is take Violin Houston, Texas, and we're going to use the template of Violinist Houston. I'll show you how that works. Go over to Weebly, go into uh, Celebrate with Strings Attached website, click on Pages, and um, so I asked, uh, the template is Violinist Houston. So right here, we're going to unhide that for just a minute so that you can use, so that you can cut and paste the elements. So go back to elements. Actually, I, can, I click on save settings. Open up a new tab where you're going to cut and paste into the new page. So open up a new tab with Weebly editor in it. Sorry this is taking so long. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to pull up that page, the template page, and it's under, I unhit it, so, so now I'm going to find it under the solo violin. There it is, Violinist Houston. And then in this new tab over here, I am going to create a new page, which you're familiar with doing, I'm sure. You know, go here, as you did for me uh, from previous work down here when you added those new pages. So I know that you know already, already know how to do that. So we go add page, and it's going to be called Violin Houston, Texas. And then we're going to put in the advanced settings like this. Uh, in the case of if it's a solo musician, put my name down. If it's referring to a band, then put celebrate with strings attached. Let's just scratch what I just said. Let's just put celebrate with strings attached every time. Okay. Then we have same thing here. With celebrate make sure you spell correctly and then put the uh, key phrase again under the meta tag, meta keywords and actually here is where you can put that other one so we'll go back here grab Houston violin put it in there and then on the header code, I want you to put in the Meta Robots No Follow because I don't want Google to follow it until I'm completely done building this page. So make sure you put that in the header code, just like that. And then, oh, excuse me, save it. And then go over and um, open it up for editing. And uh, should be under here under more now. My computer's going really slow because I'm uploading something. Hello.
Hello. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna pause this again. I'm gonna show you show you a little editing here. I've got up the template page which we're going to draw all the content from and copy it into the new page. Okay, here's the new page. Here's the template page. So you're just copying left to right. And then after we do that, we're going to make a few adjustments to the new page. Now, I just noticed something here. You're going to be doing this on the new page, but the uh, alt tags for the images aren't matching the key phrase. So um, the way we do it is we click on this edit button here. Whoops, that isn't the way we do this. Sorry. Um, click on the image and go up here under advanced. Click this. And in the alt text, we need to put the key phrase. All right. So in this case, it is um, classical violinist. I mean, actually, violinist Houston, Texas. So I'm going to put in. Violinist Houston, Texas works with child. So you want it to relate to the picture. See how I did that? And then click out of it. Okay, so I'm looking at the back to copying. I'm looking at the structure. It looks like we have a two divided, a page divided in two with a little text header. So I'm going to take this title thing, pull it down here, then I'll take the multiple columns right here, pull that down, and then I'll just start copying over Will Taylor. But for this new page, everything needs to relate to that new key phrase that you're working on. So in this case, we're working on this one. Violin, Houston, Texas. So we want to change things as we go. So instead of violinist, it's going to be violin, Houston, Texas. And then you can just copy all this over. Uh, this photo right here, if you need to download it, you might have to open up the, the, the actual website, download it, re-upload it, and make sure you set that you change tags as I was showing you earlier. Now some of these elements here are going to be uh, HTML. This one right here, if you notice, is an HTML element. So that means I'm going to have to pull down over here uh, the HTML to make that work. So basically I want you to copy from the template into the new page exactly each image you're going to put the key phrase in there and make it relate to the image so make sure it's like some kind of sentence about what the image is make sure you get all these elements there's a lot of them in here transfer it over and then uh, that's it all the way down to the bottom of the page copy that over change the image alt tags and change this header up here to be in the key phrase of the new page I think that's pretty clear. So I just started this page. I'll let you finish that. And when you finish this one, then you're going to go down to the next one. And the template will be strings. So that means I'll go back over here, go to pages, pull up strings right here. And actually, no, I'm sorry. I'll go under music and pull up strings. Okay, and then when you're all done with that, make sure you hide the new pages and publish. I'm going to go back over here. I put everything in this list. This whole fly in a new photo if needed, I'll get to that later. Um, I'll put change alt tags on images. And then as far as putting in the URLs below, when we get done, this Violinist Houston, Texas page is going to look like this. Viol 
Calvinist. Uh, okay, so actually I'm going to test that. So you're going to put the URL there so I can deal with it later. And might as well test the URL too. And let's see if it worked. So it's actually violin. Houston, Texas, not violinist. Violin, Houston, Texas. Why is it not working? Violin, Houston, Texas. Violin. Because I haven't published it yet, that's why. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and publish it. And it should work now. Okay, there's the new page that you're going to finish filling out. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. I'll have a third task for you in the next video. But you're going to work through this whole list all the way down, make those new pages for me, and put the final URL right below each grouping. Thank you very much.